All right, you probably heard about it by now, the big indictment, the second one, the third one of Hunter Biden. He would seem to be in big trouble to the amateur eye. Actually, this is a hookup. They could have gotten him for far worse. They could have gotten him for bribery. They could have gotten him for not registering as a foreign agent, which is a real serious problem when you get accused of that and convicted of that. Somehow, I think that actually this is a hookup for Hunter. Wouldn't it be the first time, after all, his father is the president of the United States? Will this preclude him somehow from having to testify in that closed door deposition before James Comer's committee? There's a lot about this indictment that I don't like, but there's a lot about this indictment that I do like. In some ways, Hunter is busted. And the evidence against him uh, for the alleged crimes here is, is pretty solid. And for the crimes of his father, for looking the other way and lying to all of us. I want to go to the very first part of this indictment, the United States versus Hunter Biden. Line one, the defendant served on the board of a Ukrainian industrial conglomerate and a Chinese private equity fund. He negotiated and executed contracts for a lot of money and agreements for business and legal services that paid millions of dollars of compensation to him and or his domestic corporations, i.e. Owasco PC and Owasco LLC. And let me see that again, Chinese conglomerate, right? You saw that, a Chinese private equity fund, the Ukrainian conglomerate and the Chinese private equity fund. Now this encompasses from, let's see here, 2016 to 2020, and who remembers that debate? My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. I have not had, a, the only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. You know, everyone's running around evaluating this thing, wondering if Hunter Biden's gonna go to jail or not. Not nearly enough accountability of the man who lied to hundreds of millions of people and was virtually never challenged by the media on any of this. The only one who's directly challenged Joe Biden is the man right next to him. I have to go back to the indictment, though. This, uh, the defendant engaged, the defendant being Hunter, engaged in a four-year scheme to not pay at least $1.4 million in federal taxes that he owed for tax years 2016 through 2019 from in or about January of 2017 through in or about October 15th, 2020. <laughs> two weeks after that little moment from the debate had happened. Um, all right, this is China and Ukraine, right? When Joe Ga has been asked about this, gently challenged by the media, just once actually, gets very thin skinned and he does lie. Hunter Biden, your son, was getting paid a lot of money to serve on the board of a Ukrainian energy company facing serious corruption charges. You were the vice president running point on Ukraine. The average Joe hears that and says, that sounds fishy. What's your understanding of what your son was doing for an extraordinary amount of money? I don't know what he was doing. I know he was on the board. I found out he was on the board after he was on the board. And that was it. And there's nobody. Well, no you've had a lot of time. Isn't this something you want to get to the bottom of? No, because I trust my son. But that doesn't pass the smell test. Like when you're vice president, isn't there a higher standard? Don't you need to know? No. What's happening with your family? Don't you need to put down no. some guardrails? Un un unless there was something that was, uh, there was something on its face that was wrong. There's nothing on its face that was wrong. So look, if you want to talk about problems, you know, let's talk about Trump's family. I mean, come on. Everything about it was wrong. Everything. Uh, the whole arrangement, the Obama administration knew it. And how indignant he is, right, when he's confronted with this stuff. And it gets worse. So you guys are amazing. So you think that everything that happened was kosher? You know there's not one single bit of evidence, not one little tiny bit, to suggest anything done was wrong. You know that. Not only was it a, a scuzzy job arrangement he had, even on this bogus arrangement, he didn't pay taxes. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of evidence of Real corruption. Remember this also. While you were working your job, while I was working my job, and actually not working for a period of time, how much did Hunter Biden get paid in this period? 
Between 2016 and 2020, the defendant, Hunter Biden, individually received more than $7 million in gross income. And this is when he was a hardcore drug addict. Wow. You know, the only person who really challenged Joe about this stuff, not the media, not it, Donald Trump. And when he brought it up in the debate, you know what? They counted just about everything that the president said here as a lie. And he's been vindicated on everything. Have you seen any reports of his vindication? Are they doing that? No. They're trying to say he's a dictator. But everything he says here is correct. Just out of curiosity, the mayor of Moscow's wife gave your son three and a half million dollars. What did he true. do to deserve it? That what did he do with Barisma to deserve one hundred eighty-three thousand dollars? None of that is true. Not an answer. If not, none of that is true. Oh, really? He totally didn't get three and a half hey, Mr. President, it's he did. Totally, Mr. President, please. Totally discredited. Totally discredited. And by the way, well, wait. He talk, didn't get three and a half million dollars, Joe. Mr. Vice he got three Mr. And a President, half dollars. it is not true. Oh, really? Here's, Mr. Oh. President, but, Mr. You, it's, an, it's an open discussion, please. Now, you, you, it's a I, fact. Well, there's, you have not raised an issue. Let the been totally Vice President answer. Discredited. Did Barista was a pay him $183,000 a month with, with, no he, he, with no experience in energy? Mr. Look, President, no my son did nothing wrong at Barista. I think he did. Mr. President, guy that let him answer. He doesn't want to let me answer because he knows I have the truth. His, his position has been totally, thoroughly discredited. By who? And you the media. By everybody. Well, by the, by media, the media, by our allies, by the World Bank. By e Is Joe going to maybe have an address, an address to the nation, apologizing, explaining the lies? I mean, no. It's just going to be brushed aside. Joe will uh, just move on. It can't happen this way can't happen. can't be let off the hook. Hey, who remembers uh, Hunter Biden wrote a book? Not too many people bought it, but uh, the media did promote it. It's in the indictment as well. First, take a look. In Hunter Biden's new memoir, he addresses his lifelong battle with addiction and his family's efforts to save him from himself. Beautiful Things comes out tomorrow. It's published by Gallery Books, an imprint of Simon & Schuster, which is a division of Viacom CBS. All right, all those big companies involved. And Hunter got money for that book and tried to hide the money. He tried to hide it in the indictment. On November 25th, 2019, the defendant signed a contract with the publishing house. From January through October 15th of 2020, the defendant received approximately 140000 paid into his wife's bank account related to the book. This was part of the, uh, yeah, playing games with his income. How about that one, huh? And he was on all the shows with a straight face promoting this book and hiding the income from it while his dad was running for president. That is, I don't know, chutzpah? No, that's criminal. That's insulting. And what does Hunter Biden have to do with Romania? Take a look at this. When his father was vice president in the fall of 2015, the defendant entered into an oral agreement with business associate number one, purportedly to help a Romanian business person, some guy named GP, his initials, contest bribery charges he was facing in his home country, Romania. Huh. Between 2015 and 2017, business associate number one received approximately $3 million dollars which was split roughly into thirds between the defendant, business associate one, business associate number two. How about that one, huh? Can I see uh, Joe Biden in Romania? Now we know Joe knows something about a Romania. This is Joe with an important guy in Romania a few years ago. Now Joe could po possibly get GP out of whatever trouble he's in, but Hunter on his own? Hmm? No. Who remembers Tony Babalinski? This guy has been unfortunately forgotten by, well, no, we got to bring him back. He knew everything, and he told us back in 2020. After months of discussion, I agreed to Gillian and Hunter Biden's request to become CEO of the entity to be called Sinohawk. Sino representing the Chinese side, Hawk representing Hunter Biden's brother Bo's favorite animal. Uh, Bo Biden. And let's see. Yeah, right there in the indictment, they talk about Sinohawk. After the state energy HK payment, the defendant, business associate one, and 
Business Associate 2 began negotiating a joint venture with individuals associated with CEFC, which they called Sino Hawk. Everybody said Bobolinsky was uh, not to be trusted. The media did, actually. The guy was telling the truth. Hunter betrayed Bobolinsky, by the way. And uh, Tony told us that Joe Biden knew about all of it. I was introduced to Joe Biden by Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. At, approx and a, at my approximately hour-long meeting with Joe that night, we discussed the Biden's history, the Biden's family business plans with the Chinese, with which he was plainly familiar, at least at a high level. All right, Joe knew about it. But I'm going to go back to the off-the-hook part for Hunter Biden. Have you ever heard of FARA, Foreign Agent? Let me see here. It's a, it's a thing that you have to do. Foreign Agents Registration Act. Yeah. If you're working for another country, you have to let the federal government know, if you're an American, that you're doing that. And you get into big trouble if you don't do it. Paul Manafort. They put that guy in leg shackles, put him in solitary confinement over that kind of stuff. Joe Biden, how do they get all that money? Isn't it, try, isn't it kind of all falling into place right now? We knew it for a long time, but gosh, I tell you, when the federal government lays it out in these little things called indictments, it does indeed tell a story that the media, even conservative media, they're still covering for Joe. For years, Republicans have been trying to find concrete evidence that Joe Biden personally profited from his son's overseas business dealings. But so far, nothing has turned up, Neil. Wrong again, Fox News. The House Oversight Committee just this week came out with automatic payments from Hunter's account full of Chinese money going to his father, Joe Biden. Yeah, $1,380 a month for four months this is something, oh, no, no, that was just about a car. I'll get to the car in a moment, all right? Stop spinning for the Bidens. Stop trying to make excuses for them. You can see it. It's here right in front of us. How about the WhatsApp messages? Remember that? Oh, that's unverified. No, it's not. A lengthy messages between Hunter and a high-ranking businessman in China. I am sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment has not been fulfilled. Man, Hunter is mad. Sounds like a collection agency. Tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand, and now means tonight. He should have been in the collections business. I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me, his father, and every person he knows, Obama and the rest, and my ability to forever hold a grudge that you'll regret not following my direction. Wow. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father. Back to the indictment. Three days later, on or about August 2nd, 2017, the defendant executed on behalf of Owasco the operating agreement for Hudson West 3. Hudson West 3 was funded with an initial $5 million capital contribution from an entity that was not owned or controlled by the defendant. They use this bureaucratic language sometimes to cover themselves, but wow, huh? And how about that Joe? He is accused formally of not paying millions of dollars in taxes. Joe talks about rich people and taxes a lot. The wealthy still do very well, even though they don't pay their taxes. <laughs> Imagine what we could do if we just made these billionaires pay their taxes like everyone else. Pay your taxes, for God's sake. For God's sake, resign. 